Yeah, trick. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name's Brandon Dates, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Extinction. Extinky, stinky, extinction. Which, uh, it's kind of a decent game in its own right. Kind of. The problem with it is that the price point is way off at $60. I, I don't know what, what they were thinking. It sells for $35 in Singapore, so it seems like they just kind of arbitrarily raised the price for no reason at all. We'll jump into the campaign, you'll see kind of what I'm talking about. You have to kill a lot of orcs, which uh, obviously I enjoy, but it's it's not enough to hold up for extended play sessions. So here we have the second chapter, Titan's Wrath. I'll probably only do two or three of these because, um, yeah, like I said, extended play session is just a little bit hard to stomach. As, as you will soon see, they do have primary objective, and then you get bonus medals, which gives you uh, SP, which I assume is skill points. You can upgrade your skills with those. We've got a health increase, grapple whip, I've already maxed that out. You've got your glide in the air. Advanced combat, which you really won't be needing any combos. Basically, you just hold right click and release it at the right moment, and you'll one shot basically anything. And... You need to rescue civilians in this game, so you don't want to waste time doing combos. Just right-click, boom, kill the thing, move on. It's really, really simple, and uh, I find that disappointing, to be quite honest. There's basic combat, vault height, upgrade your jump height, teleport civilians up quicker. I think I will grab that. Sure. And now we're broke. That's all right. Uh, Lightfoot. Yes, you can hop off of canopies and trees. That is one thing I will say, the movement in this game is super smooth, it feels really nice climbing up the giant's back and stuff like that. It's just the repetition that gets to me after a little while. And if the game was, yeah, $20, something like that, mm, maybe. But $60, mm, I, 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 I can't justify it at that price point. So health, it doesn't really matter. Um, increasing base, base health by 30% is kind of nice, but... The giants are gonna one-shot you anyways, and I don't really have trouble with the little guys, so I basically ignored health largely, even if it is only a thousand skill points. That's fine. Uh, enough rambling, we'll start the mission now. Titan's Wrath. A Raveni has been spotted! Oh my! We must destroy him! I think one of the, uh, one of the missions was to take off two pieces of his armor before we kill him, so I'll need to keep that in mind. Once he shows up, First, we gotta run around, rescue civilians, kill a few jackals, exhibit some of the fantastic movement in this game, and, uh, yeah, then be disappointed when we when we just do the same things over and over again. Oh yeah, there's some voice acting too. It's a little bit, uh, generic. Most things are generic. Generic fantasy setting, generic orc killing. There we go. We'll just, uh, skip right on past that. I don't need none of that. Right. Energy by killing jackals and rescuing civilians. Kill the jackals. There you go. Alright. Let's swoop over here. Want to watch the mini map? Just to make sure uh, we're rescuing people before they get killed. If they got red dots, you want to get over there. As you can see, right click and hold. Right click and hold. Over and over. <laughs> I should probably demonstrate some of the actual, like, combos and stuff that you can do. Knock people up in the air. That's pretty sweet. I love those air combos. Too bad you won't be doing much of that. It's just, uh, a great shame. Wall climbing. You can grapple with F, which is super sweet. Um, especially for getting on top of the big boys. All them big boys. You can glide around with shift. That's pretty nice as well. Oh, there's some dudes over there. Need to rescue the dudes! Flip. And there we go. There, you've been saved. With my two button clicks. If it weren't for your noble efforts, I would be dead. Oh yeah, I save a lot of people. I don't have time to, to talk to you right now. I gotta do some stuff. This is my job, okay? Please don't interrupt my work. Alright, more of these jackals coming in. And two more right clicks, and they're dead. Amazing. What is this tower? It's a watchtower. Okay, climb the watchtower. Oh! And then there's a, a thing! It's coming through the trees! Alright, that's what we're gonna do. Don't you worry about it. Wall climbing is a little wonky. Like, you can only climb a short distance and then you'll stop. 
but if you jump again, you start climbing again. Which I guess is good for scaling tall buildings and stuff like that. But it also seems just the, the slightest bit cheesy. As you can see, glide on over here. I'll spam my wall climb. Alright. Then I get over here. Avil, you remember how this works. I do remember how this Hold works. Please stop please stop interrupting me. There is a, a backstory and stuff, but it's just so generic. Great job, Avil. Okay, stop. I need to can I off. just do my job? Valid rune strike targets will oh, glow when you aim at them. Uh glow. Something's now gonna glow. Aim your rune strike just below the Raveni's knee to sever its leg. Alright. Civilian's been killed. Destroy two armor though. We got that done. And there he goes down. Now finish this. Now finish this. Yep, yep. Cut his head off. Got it. Now, Avil, execute the revenge. Oh yeah! For the first time I saw this, my my jaw dropped on the floor. I was like, "That's awesome!" And then I realized that that is all this game is, and I I got a little bit disappointed. And then I looked up the price point, and I got even more disappointed. So, I can see why people are upset with this game. It has sparked quite a discussion about the actual cost of game development and stuff like that. Because right now the market is oversaturated. We've got so many good games at such a cheap price. You could buy Stardew Valley for copies for you and all your friends for the price of $60, you know? So, it's, it's, it's just not worth it, honestly. We'll uh, continue on to the next chapter since I don't want to make this episode super, super short. This is the Iron Giant. I completed it once, but I only got one bonus medal. So, uh, let's see. We have to destroy four armor, kill one Raveni with both legs intact, complete the mission in under six minutes. So I think the only thing that I did was destroy four armor. That's fine. We'll, we'll get at least one of those done, I hope. I should demonstrate a bit more about the grapple whip as well. It's helpful, um, but yeah, usually you can just glide to a canopy or a tree and bounce yourself up to another building, or just keep spamming spacebar and climb a sheer cliff face, at least if it is climbable. Those actual cliffs, he can't climb those. He can only climb buildings. Silly? <laughs> Everybody knows that. I don't understand why my, why my powers are so limited. All right, here he comes. Big boy! Are you sure you can handle it? I got it! You worry about getting your crystals to the surrounding town, Sandra. I'll worry about the Raveni. Yeah. I do what I do. I'm gonna make it do what it do! Reveal, remember. Oh yeah! Executing Raveni requires rune energy. Charge your rune energy by killing oh. jackals and rescuing civilians. Oh, that's right. We need rune energy. Alright, cool. I'm over here now. What up? What up? What's happening? Oh my god, there's another jackal here. Like I said, I probably should just do the little uh, right click and spam. But I want to pretend like I'm uh, a master at this game. Which it does feel super smooth. If you're able to, uh, oh my god, civilian's been killed. Where was he? I didn't even see him! We'll just do this. Uh, you. Hands off. Hands off! Lego my ego! There's another civilian over there in danger. Boop! There we go! Two more! And obviously the big Raveni is uh, running through the town, rampaging and destroying. And they can basically level the entire town. Once that little meter in the upper right gets to zero, your game is done! You can't really be killed. If you do get smashed by the Raveni or something like that, then uh, you just respawn. So, not really much of a point to trying to stay alive, if you want me to be quite honest. Let's just get a little more rune energy. Come on, fill me up. Fill me up! I need it! This iron armor looks to be Any more civilians? I'll try taking those out first. Well, I guess that's it for civilians. Let's uh, get the lock. Where is it? Where is it? Come on! There we go. Oh, fart! Alright, how about this one? Can't hold it forever. Alright, one at a time. It could be just fine. I don't really want to knock him on his ass because this one, uh... 
does quite a bit of sweeping. Sweeping up the legs and whatnot. Or arms, if you chop off his legs. Time to kill Ravenni. Time to kill Ravenni! As you will see, he's like, uh, gonna start sweeping around and shit. If I climb up on his head, he'll start grabbing his head. It reminds me of kind of, uh, like Shadow of the Colossus. I think this game was made to compete with Attack on Titan, but it's, uh, it's not gonna be able to. I can go ahead and tell you that right now. Oh boy. Well, he's regenerated his leg now. And I got kicked in the dick. Well, well. I could hide and try to recover a little bit, but like I said, there's not really uh, any, any downside to dying. So, we'll just keep at it. Keep at him, dog. That's right. I'm gonna get this lock. There we go. Now if we get his head, we will have four, four armors destroyed. And hopefully I can do this in a decent amount of time. Six minutes? That ain't much time at all. Uh, there. Again. Super duper! Whoa! And I got smashed. So he's destroyed 50% of the town now. We need to get in there. Tell you what. And I need to get him with uh, both of his legs intact. So let's grapple up. Oh, buddy! That's not good. That's not good at all. It is kind of hard to uh, see where he's attacking from just because he is so big. Let's get behind him if we're able to and grapple that shit. Yup. Oopsie daisy. Hold your rune strike and aim uh, yeah! I'll admit that it does feel uh, pretty satisfying. <laughs> Even nice still. Work, these people owe you their lives. But oh my god, it is hard to talk with everybody talking in my ear. Can we just turn the subtitles off or something like that? Probably should have dug through the options a little bit more. Let's see how we did. Hey! Perfect. Perfect. Um, not quite enough to upgrade the vault height. We could do hasty portals. Hasty portals! Lightfoot. Eh. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save for the vault height. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but it makes enough of a difference. I guess we'll do one more level. One more level sounds good. Royal Proposition! Trouble arrives in the city of M Molt... Moltma. Molt... No Ma. Moltnama. Just as the word from the King Yarrow finally arrives, the Vil must defend Moltnama against the invading Ravetti forces to gain the King's confidence. Rescue 16 civilians, complete mission with 30% extinction meter. I'm not sure what an extinction meter is. I guess that's the little town percentage thing. The only percentage thing on the screen. And then complete mission in under 8 minutes. So we'll try to do just that. Might take me a couple tries, but you can go back and play previous missions, obviously, as I've been doing. And earn more SP if you're having trouble with the missions. But honestly, you shouldn't be. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and say that right now. There's no difficulty settings. Uh, the default difficulty setting is pretty easy. Pretty easy. You can get one shot by a Raveni, but uh, you'll just you'll just bounce right back. Ain't no problem there. So different missions have different objectives. Use the D-pad or objective key to review your current goal. Yeah, I'll probably never do that. You just kind of try and keep it in mind, and if you fuck it up, then you can go back. Whoa! He's got a crown. Does he know he's the king? This is a veal. The last sentinel. I want to strike, to strike an, an alliance with you. Sorcery that created this speaking stone. My ally, Xandra, crafted this instrument, and others from the weapons of our enemies. Whoa! If your boons are so great, why do you seek an alliance? Whoa! I cannot be everywhere. At this moment, I am approaching Moltnama, where a deadly horde approaches. Moltnama, I said it right. Moltnama? No, that's too soon. I dispatched a garrison to the city, but they won't arrive in time. If you are as skilled as I have heard, Evil, then please save as many of my people as you can. Yeah, I got your back, Kingy. Don't you worry about that. Hey, now we're up here. All right, save some dudes. Good to see my portal. Teleport quickly. More quicklier. 
If too much of the town is destroyed or its people killed. Yep. I understand. Don't let things drop to zero in video games. It's usually a bad thing. I should build more rune energy. That's true. Let's uh try and find some civilians. Hey, there's some over there. Obviously, I don't really know where I'm going. But that's okay. You don't have to. We got a spiffy little mini map. See that? You see that? And fly. Fly, Avil! Rescue the civilians from the wrath of the Ravelli. And obviously, uh, can't really. can't really climb the rocks. Which is troubling to me. A little more rune energy? Come on, we're almost filled up. Almost. Alright. This dude seems like a bitch. We gotta knock him out the box. I'll knock you out the box right now, kid. I uh, can't see anything. Little camera angle troubles. Oh my god, there's people right here. I'll save you! Don't worry, I got it! Uh, I think I saved some people. <laughs> I don't think they were crushed by that debris. All right. Time to kill a Cut the knee. Rescue 16 civilians. Okay, we haven't done that yet. 30% extinction meter. Oh boy. Time to kill the Ravenni. Let's just uh, let's just do it. Yeah, those those little affirmation voiceovers are really annoying. Really annoying! You think I don't know what I'm doing by now? Oh my gosh! It's another one! He's got a different hat! This is totally different. I should probably, uh, finish off those little dudes, too. I gotta build my rune energy back up, like, like that lady say. Just like that lady say! Listen to some things that lady say, but not all of it. Because like she talk a lot. A she talk You'll a lot. To face, them both. face them both? At the same time? Dang. Let's cruise over here real quick. A civilian has been killed. Well, shit. Alright. Anybody over here? I kill them all. I kill them all. Don't worry. Blep. And blep. As you can tell, no time for combos. Ain't nobody got time for that. Rescue 16 civilians. Done. Let's try and uh, get this dude out of the way before he destroys too much of the town. Oh, he has the, the weak-ass armor too. Yeah, maybe we should. But you know what? Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh boy. He stomped me. He stomped me and I got, uh, injured by a dust cloud. Isn't that amazing? It's like a poisonous dust cloud. You know what? I've had enough of this. Oh boy. Oh no, no. Get on the head. Come on. Fart. Now I'm on his titties. Get off his titties! <laughs> Get off my tickle bitties! <laughs> Alright, yeah, go ahead, stand up. That's fine. We might lose 30% plus of the city. Oh boy. And he's swatting me off his back now. Come on! Where's the... where's the... where's the execution? I'm trying to get something going here. To take this thing down. Charge up my rune energy. More? You want some more? Alright, climb up his titties. Oh, we're in his armpit now. Camera Careful angles. Oh no! I don't need to regain my health, I just need to do this thing. Oh my god. I guess I gotta rescue more civilians or something. Destroy the city of Eel. You are its people's only hope. Look, bitch, I'm doing what I can, alright? Kill strike. Okay, that's what we need. I was, uh, oh my god. I was missing out on a little bit. Avil, if too much of the town is destroyed, or its 
people killed, we will have failed. You know what? You know what? You're you're not being very helpful. I need I need optimists on my now team. Reveal, execute the Raveni. Okay. Do it. God no damn it. <laughs> you must not let the Raveni destroy oh, the city. No. You are its people's only hope. Thirty percent of the city's been destroyed already, so I don't know what you're talking about. Great job. Keep it up. Really, I could do this uh, quite quickly if I could get this kill strike to work, but it's just not doing proper. Oh, maybe it's that armor that I need to knock off. All right, there we go. Hey, there's one. Hey, Paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Don't do drugs before you die, or you go to hell before you die, or something like that. This is Captain Lou Albano. I play Super Mario on the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Oh god, I need to get another Bad fucking kill strike ready. Will glow when you aim at them. Lame. Alright, rescue civilians. Dude! Fucked it up. Fucked it up real hard. I can't take it back now. We gotta kill more little dudes. What? <laughs> I was like, this game's easy. Wow, wow, wow. Well, guess what? It's starting to turn up the heat. Just a little bit. I think it's mostly because I didn't understand that I need to have uh, my rune energy all the way charged in order to do the kill strike. Because I thought before I could just do the kill strike. It's like, hey, no problem, bro. You good? Don't worry about it. Oh boy. Rescue! Alright. People are dying of you. You cannot let this happen. My people are dying! Well, you know what? You should be here. Not much of a king, are ya? Oh, are ya? I challenge you, your kingliness. Okay, you might have deserved that. <laughs> There's like none of the city left. Okay. Cool. Great. Super. You just gotta keep it going. Cut off his arms. I should build more rune energy. I should build more rune energy, but will I? How's this? Let's keep him distracted. Yeah, trick. Oh yeah, build rune energy by chopping off his his bits. That'll do. I don't have to rescue anybody. I don't have to kill those little shits or anything. Damn, I can't climb up the pouch. Come on, bruh. Alright, here we go. Well, I saved 6% of the city. I, I guess I'm a hero. <laughs> Fuck Molten Ma! It's a modern day Gamora! Thank you. Many of my people owe you their lives. Many. We are still losing two of I agree. Your ally, Zandra. She creates your weapons. Boy, does she use a rare mineral to travel between worlds. Xandra was able to fabricate this talking stone and our own portals from similar materials. Whoa! And I have at my disposal some of the most gifted alchemists, and even they do not understand the properties of this talking stone. Xandra is brilliant in many ways, yet as skilled as we are, she and I will not be enough to win this war. Will you combine your forces with our own to defeat this enemy, your highness? Initially, I was reluctant to believe your claims. I had always thought the Sentinels to be a myth. A story to put children to bed. And now? I believe. I believe. I believe! Hear what you say! Alright, so, uh, 30% extinction meter fail, but... Most of the most of the quests got done. Ain't no problem there. A little bit more vault height. Yeah, sure, why not? So looks like things are starting to heat up. Too bad I won't be sticking around to <laughs> see what happens next. New skill! Hey, rune slow down. That that could be exciting. New skill! Rune gravity! Hey! New skill! Rune energy overflow! Hey! I don't know what that last one does. One's like a slow, one makes you fall slower, and the last one's like overflow. What's that? What's that? I don't understand. Anyways, 
Uh, the game is decent. You know, I have a pretty good time with it. The first time I saw it, I was like, whoa! Even with its cartoony style, it's it's pretty fun to play. The only problem that I have is, is the price point. Um, yeah. Deserving of triple A, uh... A triple-A price point, and then eventually there's going to be DLC that's involved. Well, this game needs the DLC ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the story itself right now is really, really thin. Extremely generic. I'm, I'm just not too impressed with it. I do appreciate being allowed to give it a little test drive and put it through its paces, but... I don't know that I'll be completing this game or coming back to it at any time soon. If you guys would like to see it, please do let me know. I, I might be persuaded into it if that is something that my subscribers would like to see. In addition, we've also got uh, links in the description, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, any others you'd like to support me on, that would be awesome. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That usually goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyways because that's kind of the thing that I do. Anyways. Once again, friends, this has been Extinky Extinction. Extinction. I've been Brandon Date, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, friends. Thank you so much for watching. And until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.